Kristen Cox is smart. We're looking at cost per placement and placements for FTE. She's powerful. And sit on the governor's cabinet. As executive director of workforce services. And we have about 40 offices statewide. Kristen oversees thousands of employees, billions of dollars. She oversees all of this without seeing a thing. I remember being sad. I remember the day coming home and being sad. Kristen has a rare recessive gene. It's a genetic disease. It slowly stripped her of her eyesight. It started when I was about 12. Little by little, her vision dimmed. Then, during her mission to Brazil for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Kristen's world went dark. It just happened so gradually. I don't even think I was aware at the time of the challenges that were ahead of me. Life handed Kristen a monumental challenge, but also a choice. Kristen could no longer see, but decided she couldn't see letting blindness hold her back. And this is why I'm so maybe passionate about the work we do here. It's about not just changing somebody's you know, giving them a skill here or there. It's about changing their hearts and their minds about what really is possible. With Kristen, all things are possible. Show Grandpa. She's a wife, mother to two boys. She has an ultra successful career and a life well lived. Well, you probably noticed this. She's blind, but she doesn't, she doesn't have limits to her life. That is not a limitation for her. Everything is in Braille. Nothing seems to limit Kristen. She paraglides, solo skydives. They were worried about her being able to pull the ripcord. When, how will she know when to pull the ripcord? So they put a radio transmitter in her ear, and then they were worried about it falling out. What if it falls out or doesn't work? Well, she was okay with that. Jumped out of the plane, heard the noise, the message, pulled the ripcord landed safely. I think so much of what we do has to be based on solid expectations about what people can do, not what they can't do. Kristen's can-do attitude has earned her the respect of her peers. She is, aspires to excellence. She herself pursues excellence in all phases of her life. Kristen is tough, she's fair, and nothing gets by her. Nothing. But one of the dangers of that, and this might not be made public, but is she remembers all of your assignments. And so, Never try to avoid an assignment. Just go get it done. Getting things done is Kristen Cox's specialty. She's really a pioneer in state government. Kristen's earned recognition for programs that increase productivity and cut costs. Well, she has this huge sense of responsibility to the taxpayer. She wants these funds to be used wisely and produce a huge uh, return on investment. One of her great passions, the work her agency does with refugees. We don't need to go to Africa to help people because they've come here. And Kristen walks the walk. The combination of her position and her personal life, she's the greatest advocate that, uh, that we could possibly have. Kristen visits refugees in their homes, brings them into her own home, and personally organizes efforts to help refugees in need. Refugees tend to be invisible. People ride down the street and you see them walking along the road and you don't really see them. And Kristen, though she, she can't see, she does see them. And they know that. Passion, compassion, they're the characteristics that make Kristen Cox an outstanding leader. I am an old guy and I don't tend to make heroes out of young people. She is one of my heroes. She really is. Uh, I love the woman. Kristen Cox, a woman loved, admired, respected, and now honored for her outstanding achievements, a true pioneer of progress. I would not have planned that this is where I was going to be in my life uh, when I was in my early 20s. I'm lucky and I'm fortunate. I've had good mentors. I've had great opportunities. And hopefully I work hard and have a good work ethic to, to make their investment in me worthwhile.